StarCast 5, presented by CarShield, July 29th to 31st in Nashville, Tennessee at the Nashville Fairgrounds. Loaded with stage shows including Renee Paquette's Sessions with the American Dragon, Brian Danielson, Soraya, Turning the Page, The Horsemen reunite on stage for one last ride, and Bret Hart's look back at 30 years later on his SummerSlam Classic. And of course, StarCast will be capped off by Ric Flair's Last Match. Follow the story leading up to the last match over at RicFlair'sLastMatch.com. Tickets and information available at StarCast.com. Yeah. And then the main event, it was FTR and the Briscoes, best of three falls, Ring of Honor, World Tag Team titles. And they went, I think, 40-something minutes total. 40, 40, 43, 43 and a half minutes. 43 and a half minutes. And, uh, I mean, it was it was a fantastic match. I don't know if I would say it was better than their first match. I, and the I, main reason for that is the heat that they had in that first match. Yeah. This had a ton of heat in that third fall, but it uh, was up and down for the first two falls. And I think a part of that is that, you know, I think everybody figured, well, you know, whoever wins the first fall is not winning too straight. And yep. so when it really matters is going to be in that third fall. And they reacted like it really mattered in the third fall, but, you but know, uh, it, you know, less so in the first two. You know what was interesting, though, is that um, you could tell, the, like, like the visuals, like there was a point where it's like, I'm not hearing a lot of crowd noise. And then all of a sudden, Caprice Coleman goes, everyone is standing. And I'm, you know, like, usually when an announcer says everyone is standing, it means nobody's standing. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm looking at the crowd, because I'm not concentrating the crowd. And he goes, everyone's standing. And I look at the crowd, and it's like, everyone's standing. Like, in the they front were, row. They were the, all standing. It, Everyone was standing. So it's like these people were definitely into this match. Um, but, you know, you're you're right as far as like if you can compare it to the first one. The first match, uh, the heat came off much, much better. Um, this They were entirely different matches. Like the first match was just like just, you know, just beating beating the hell out of each other, you know, with, with you know, and all this. The second match, it was very much paced. Like, um, you know, the first match was not paced like an old school match. Uh, this match was paced like an old school, long 45 minute match. And, um, you know, it's just a matter of preference and everything. I, I thought the first match was the better of the two, but you know what I mean? It's like, it's like, I, I compared the, the series to the Young Bucks and FTR. There are two matches where, you know, like the, the first match was fantastic and the second match was fantastic. And I think the same, but I think when, when the first was better than the second. And I think the same thing here in the sense that they're both fantastic matches. Um, they're both, you know, you can, you can, they're both match of the year candidates, put it that way. I think the first one might has, have a better chance of winning match of the year, but who knows? But these are both match of the year candidates. It was, it was super. So the first fall was uh, actually scary because they uh, hit a doomsday device on Dax Harwood. And he landed on his head. And they showed two different replays, and he landed on his head for sure. And it looked like it sucked. But, I mean, he was up, and he finished the rest of the match. And, you know, we always talk about how, you know, he appeared fine. But you never know what fine even means in this business. But that was a well, bad landing on that, that dude. Well, you know, place. I mean, like, the thing is, is we've seen this in a lot of cases where... um you know, and, and again, he did a promo afterwards and, and, and every, you know, I mean, not just after the match, but I mean, also backstage and everything. But, you know, sometimes guys go in there and it's not until the next day when they wake up. You know what I mean? So it's like, hopefully, you know, and, 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 you know, these guys are banged up. I mean, he's got a torn labrum. I mean, it's like, he's another one with a freaking torn labrum that's working and working great. But, uh, you know, I mean, that is, there, you know, he he is, you know, they're they're both 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 of those guys were hurting, but um, Dax is definitely hurting a lot. I mean, you can just see it. But uh, what a what a phenomenal worker, though. So yeah, they got the heat on him for much of the second fall because uh, I guess the rumor, I guess the uh, the rules in Ring of Honor are as soon as the uh, falls over, next fall begins. So he's fighting to get the tag. He's fighting to get the tag. He finally gets, and then Wheeler well, they, makes they, his... they, they they kept um. You know, one of the things that made this so so dramatic was a couple of twice, I think, he went to get to, to the tag and they pulled cash off the apron. Yep. So he couldn't get the tag. I mean, I thought they did, uh, again, they, I thought they did a really great job um, 
you know, with that type of stuff, you know, because you're going to go 40 minutes, you know, you've got to, um, you know, I mean, for, you, you you can't just do big moves for 40 minutes because, you know, at if you do big moves for 40 minutes, unless you're really something special, you know, the, the audience is going to get burned out. You've got to build. And, um, you know, so they did that long, you know, the long spot, you know, and, and to do things, you know, those those subtle things. Um, not subtle, but just, you know, things that can drag out the heat spot, basically, you know, where you tease you're going to get it. Everyone expects you to get it. And then the partner's pulled off. So you take it away from them. And it's um, I think that I think that, it, you know, is another thing that really, um, you know, helped build the match. They had a great spot where uh, Mark Briscoe, uh, they were brawling, and actually it was Jay hit Wheeler with the uh, ring bell, and the fans actually bought that as a potential finish, which would have been two straight falls, but Cash kicked out. He's bleeding all over the place. They finally hit the big rig. They win the second fall, and then the third fall, uh, the crowd was super into the third fall because this was the deciding fall. And it's just a hard chop battle with uh, Dax and Mark Briscoe. They're just chopping the hell out of each other. They go for another Doomsday device. Uh, and actually, they they uh, they hit a second Doomsday device on Dax after he landed on his head in the first fall. Yep. They did hit a second one here in this uh, in the third fall, but uh, that one got broken up. But that's 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 like that's old school wrestling in the sense that in fall three. You use the moves that one fall one and two, but yep. they don't work, you know, because someone saves or whatever, or you kick out. I mean, that's like just, you know, old school two out of three fall style. We had uh, Jay hitting the Jay driller on Dax, but Dax kicked out, which got a huge pop. Briscoe goes for another one. Harwood fights out of it. And they end up brawling in the top rope, and Dax grabs him off the middle rope and gives him a falling pile driver off the middle rope, which was absolutely brutal. And he hits this, this pile driver off the middle rope. And for some reason, I just that's thought... A scary, that's a scary move. It is. It, 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 it was scary like... move. I thought... Dude, no one should kick out of a middle rope pile driver. But there was that thing in my head that thought, well, that ain't going to be the finish. Like, they, they got they got a little more time here. But it was. He pinned him with the middle rope pile driver. Place went crazy. They did this, uh, this promo afterwards where they asked the fans to give uh, the Briscoes the appreciation they deserved. And then uh, just did a quick promo about how much they loved uh, pro wrestling. Uh, said they would see us on Wednesday. Top guys out, and as they were leaving, Claudio, Wheeler, and Regal came out on the ramp. And so it looks like uh, Claudio and Wheeler versus FTR for the tag team titles is uh, coming up here pretty soon. So overall, yep. this was a great pay-per-view. I thought so. I thought, like, uh, you know, well-booked. Every, you know, um, you know, all clean, you know, all pretty much all clean finishes and all building. You know, it's like, like... Now that it's over and then you, you know, you see kind of where everything's going. It's like, okay, you know, everything, everything had a purpose. It wasn't just thrown in there. I mean, as far as the key matches, you know, the key matches with, with the AEW guys. So, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, um, very well received show, uh, you know, ap, you know, match of the year candidate for sure, you know, in the main event and, uh, the Rouge match was very good. The, you know, excellent really. And the Jay Lethal match was, was excellent. And I mean, as far as just the wrestling aspect of it, you know, as far as the main show goes, you know, pretty much every match was good on the main show. You know, the only question was, yeah, you know, some of the stuff, the the crowd reactions were not the best, you know, and, and all that. But, um, you know, whatever. I mean, it's funny because, like, I watched the um, not not the show that's going on right now, but uh yesterday's actually would be today's show because this is tomorrow in japan and all that but the show from um from saturday morning from ota in uh and it's like the clap crowd was was like more exciting to watch than the ring of honor crowd because they were just so into it which is kind of weird because i was thinking like you know oh, we're gonna have this great you know what I mean? Like, you know, I, I was I was expecting, you know, kind of like the Ring of Honor Wednesday night crowd, which is usually really, really hot. But, um, you know, and, and, and especially because they had a, you know, they had a good number of people. It wasn't like it was an empty building or anything like that, but it was what it was, you know, but, you know, wrestling booking, very, very good show. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, 
We got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.